how long is wet. Say hello. I think a fathom is three feet. Three feet? Or wait, ten feet. I don't know, I'm gonna have to Google that. I used to know that and I forget. I'm gonna have to look that up on Google. Okay, here we are coming down to the wharf. That's where we were earlier. Over that way, you can almost see Black Beach on the far right of the point. So I remember last time when we were over on the other side, I talked about a boat that I could see way off in the distance. Well, this is it right here, right in front of us. That boat is what I glimpsed uh, from way over there, probably about four or five kilometers away. here public notice the minimum size for our mackerel is 26.8 centimeters the daily bag limit is 20 so if you like mackerel get about 20 a day you going down there Jordan what's it like down there this is how high the tide is whoa that is a long ways down are we going down after you, I'll follow you. We're going to get a look underneath the wharf. This is pretty cool. What? Oh, I don't know. It's pretty normal. I think those are fish forts. Fish what? Fish forts. Really? <laughs> they could be, you never know. <laughs> I like that little green dory boat over there. I think it's a rowboat. Key, yeah. Like the supply yeah. No, that's how they get on to their when they bring their fishing boat in and park there. That's how they get back over here. Okay, bud, you go first. Go on up. Climb up there. Okay, we're going back up. Hey, Jordan. Put on your hiking shoes, bud. We're going back into the woods. This ought to be fun. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa. It's an arch bridge. We have an engineering marvel here. Look at that. Who would expect to find this out in a trail in the woods? Let's try it out. Wow. <clears throat> Never know what you're going to find on these trails. It was a neat bridge. Let's see what comes next. There's a lot of brooks in here. This is the second brook already. Holy cow, another bridge? It's another arch bridge, you guys. I'm liking this end of the trail better already. Got some interesting uh, features and scenery in here. 
Okay, and crossing our second bridge here. Going over another brook. Another brook. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, one thing for sure here, there's a lot of bridges. Because <laughs> there's a lot of water in here with brooks. And we're coming up to yet another bridge. Now, I haven't filmed all of them, but I figured uh, we'd just show another one. A smaller one this time. But we've already passed over at least two more like this since that last uh, big arch bridge. Anybody tired yet? My legs what? are tired. How come? I don't think we went that far yet. It's going to be worth it in the end. You're going to come out of here a stronger man, Jordan. You too, Dally. Get the laziness right out of you. This is great medicine to get the video game laziness right out of your bones. All right. Very good acting, you guys. Perfect. Perfect acting. I even like the dialogue. Guys, looks like we found something here from the past. Anybody want to comment on it? What it is? It's like a bridge here, right, Jordan? And we were all trying to take a guess how old it's, it is uh, since it's been here. And I said in the 1930s. Jordan, what was your guess? Um, the 1930s. Huh? Yeah. Dally, what do you think? 50 years. 50 years ago? Yeah. Any one of us could be right. So. We're right in the heart of the estuary here. And the tide's quickly coming back in here. Filling this up with water. All right, let's uh, let's venture over to the beach there. See what we can see. Anything interesting? We should do that when we were kids. Look over where those two towers are over there. Those, uh, the coastline over there where those high cliffs are, that's uh, where you and I had to climb down to that river at low tide last time. Do you remember that? When? Last time? Last week? When? when before? Like, you said it was here? Yeah, it was just you and me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Hey guys, what is that over there? There's some kind of container under a, a log. So check it out. It's got a note in it. Your seashells? Open it up and have a look. See what it says. What did you find? Read it to us, Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Okay, what's it say? You found a great spot for, for 
for me to build my nest. I don't like being too high or low to the ground. Usually it's one meter high so I could stay away of curious creatures who might eat me or my eggs. Try, uh, often try to find homes already built like built by others like woodpecker holes but my partner and I will hollow hollow or dig the holes out of to suit our needs. To suit your needs? To and suit our needs. Yeah. If you haven't guessed who I am yet, come find me at the coordinates of N five Guess the coordinates? Yeah, here's the North forty five. Hold it still. It's north, 45, mark, 11, mark, 105, west, mark, 66 degrees, mark, 14, mark, 815. Well, I'd have to check the coordinates on my uh, phone's GPS. I kind of have a feeling that's where we are now. Congratulations. Uh, whether, whether or it was intentional or not, you found a... A geocache. Feel free to I knew it. It was a geo... What? A geo... Cache? Cache? I knew it. I knew it. Feel <laughs> free to look through the box. Please return everything back to where you found it. Found it, including the box. If you're in, in, interest, interested in learning more about, about geocache caching, visit HTTP... Mm, I don't know how to call this one. Where? Show me. Uh, so hold it steady. It's geocaching. Hold it steady. Geocaching.com. Okay. Oh. Anyone's reading it can go on geocaching.com. Mm. And if you um, put those coordinates in that we just uh, read out to you, you'll find out exactly where we are and what what we found. I'm still not sure what it is we found. What's in there? The rocks? There and it's rocks a ring? ring. Oh. A diamond so ring. we're supposed to donate something to it. Hmm. Okay, well we found this by surprise. We totally didn't know. Um, hold on, I'm going to switch the camera. Okay, we totally found this by surprise and um, we weren't prepared to, to donate something to it, but what people have been putting and things inside the container that find this um, using the geocache.com uh, website and the note gives the coordinates so on the website it gives the coordinates and people come find this place and discover this container hopefully which we did accidentally um, anybody have anything you want to put in there maybe hmm. anything in your pockets <laughs> oh, a little Jeremy I don't think Dally would like that Dally can we put little Jeremy in there? No. Not a chance, eh? <laughs> I didn't think so. Anyways, maybe next time we're out here, we'll remember to bring something. And I'm going to give the container back to Dally and Jordan. And you guys can put it right back where you found it. Because anyone that's uh, using those coordinates is going to come right to this very spot. All right. We made a discovery today. That's cool. And a little surprise. Oh, a ring. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan found that inside the container. So we can bring something like that or whatever that will fit in the container. And uh, we'll make a donation next time we're here. Okay. Too cool. Okay, so um, while we're hiking on the Musquash Trail here in Five Fathom Hole, we just found a geocache and container, I guess. And it was by total surprise. And we looked inside of it and found some items in there. Including a ring. Jordan was hoping there was a diamond ring in there. But I don't think there'd be any such chance as that. <laughs> so. Anyways, this just made our adventure today all the more exciting. Uh, making discoveries is what it's all about for me. Explore, discover, and experience. That's my motto. <laughs>